In the 1990s, music videos became not just big-budget works of art, but also vital parts of musicians' marketing campaigns. Some of them starred beautiful women who became cultural icons. Here's a look at what those video vixens have gotten up to since then. Bobby Brown, who spells her first name with an I-E at the end, is not to be confused with makeup tycoon Bobby with an I Brown or new edition singer Bobby with a Y Brown. This Bobby Brown is actually one of the most recognizable music video stars of all time. Hair metal videos often featured scantily clad women, and Warren's Cherry Pie is one of the classics. It stars Brown wandering around a white space in a red halter top, sucking on cherries and dropping slices of cherry pie in her lap. And wouldn't you know it, she ended up marrying Warrant lead singer Janie Lane in 1991, although they then divorced in 1993. After some more music video appearances, Brown segued into acting, often typecast as a blonde bombshell in small parts in things like Married with Children and Last Action Hero. In 2013, she joined the reality circuit as a part of the Canadian series Ex-Wives of Rock. That same year, she published her memoir, Dirty Rocker Boys, in which she detailed her recovery from drug addictions as well as her ongoing battle with the compulsion to pull out her own hair. Alicia Silverstone appeared in a trilogy of three massively popular Aerosmith videos in the early 90s. She wasn't a dancing around and pouting video vixen, rather, she was a real actress and she proved it in these clips. Cryin' features her dealing with a nasty breakup and finding peace. In Amazing, she plays a virtual reality dream girl, and in Crazy, she flees private school to have some wild adventures. Was that weird to do, all the kissing and... Yeah, kinda. you can just do it. Those videos all received heavy rotation on MTV, launching Silverstone to a legitimate acting career. In 1995, she starred in the thriller Hideaway, as well as the cultural touchstone Clueless. That year was followed by plenty of other roles and a career that's still going strong. In addition to her work in film and TV, she's also a vocal supporter of animal rights and an advocate of the vegan lifestyle. The phenomenal success of the 1987 album Appetite for Destruction gave Guns N' Roses a blank check creatively and financially. So they went ahead and released not one, but two albums in 1991, Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. To promote these two albums, the band made a series of expensive, symbolism-heavy cinematic videos connected by a loose narrative theme of love and loss. In Don't Cry, model Stephanie Seymour and singer Axl Rose brutally fight over a gun while Seymour wears a tight tank top. And in November Rain, Seymour marries Rose while wearing a skimpy wedding dress and then tragically dies. Seymour also dated Rose from 1991 to 1993, a relationship which descended into domestic violence allegations and lawsuits. That's really a drag. As one of the original supermodels of the early 90s, Seymour used that goodwill to be the face of various campaigns well into the 2000s. More recently, she launched Raven and Sparrow, a high-end lingerie line. Back in the late 70s, Meatloaf had his big moment with his mixture of hard rock and deep-throated show tunes on his massively successful album Bat Out of Hell, which was certified 14 times platinum. After a cool period in the 80s, he returned with the smash hit Bat Out of Hell 2 back into hell in 1993. The lead single, I'd Do Anything for Love But I Won't Do That, went all the way to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It's partially a duet with session singer Lorraine Crosby providing the female vocals. The woman who appears in the epic video, however, is not Crosby, but a model named Dana Patrick who lip-synced to Crosby's vocals while she ran around a castle and hung out on a magically floating bed. This was the first time Patrick appeared on screen. She was cast on the strength of an audition tape she made for a Levi's commercial that wound up in the hands of the video's director, none other than Michael Bay. After her big break, Patrick starred in another Meatloaf video, I'd Lie For You and That's The Truth, and scored bit parts on a few TV shows including Seinfeld. Annabelle, Justina, and Nikki. We used to model. Oh, modeling! What's that like, fun? <laughs> Patrick has now retired from acting and runs her own Los Angeles-based photography business specializing in portraiture. Blink-182 is a punk rock band, and what's more punk rock than a unified marketing message? In 1999, the trio released the album Enema of the State, whose cover featured a woman dressed as a smoking hot nurse. That same woman also played a nurse walking down the street in the video for What's My Age Again. 
That's the one where the band members do various public activities without any clothes, which is ironic because that clothed model they encounter, Janine Lindemulder, earned her living in the buff as the star of dozens of adult films in the 1990s. Around the time of What's My Age Again, Linda Mulder walked away from the world of adult entertainment to raise her kid and work as a kindergarten teacher. A few years later, however, she was back in the adult industry. She also made headlines for some personal issues. In 2002, she married motorcycle customizer Jesse James, and a year later she wound up in prison for assaulting him. They divorced in 2004 and then got into a custody battle over their daughter. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.